Hello, Van Sturgeon here. Look at this lovely, handsome home. I know the owners and it's their first house flip. They bought this house for 180,000 and then they spent around 110,000 in renovations. With carrying costs and stuff, they're into this lovely and handsome home for about $320,000. They had the house for sale and, and it was beating around in the market for several months and eventually they were able to sell it for 280,000. Yep, that's a $40,000 haircut. Pretty painful stuff. How long is it going to take for them to make that money back? Unfortunately, they came to me when it was too late. You see, I came across this kind of stuff all the time. I'm a pretty successful real estate investor and, and, I, own, and I own a number of successful businesses in construction and renovation. I have built and renovated thousands of houses and commercial properties over the last 30 years. I know what it takes to pull off a successful house renovation. Here's a great tip. Before you start a renovation, create a document called a scope of work. In this document, you will be able to specify all the materials that you're going to use and the contractor who is responsible for each task. By having this document in place, you won't go over budget and all the contractors will know what their roles and responsibilities are in the project. Too often, as was the case uh, with this house, there was no scope of work and these newbie re uh, renovators decided that they were, they were just going to wing it. Spend a few hundred dollars on an upgraded floor to a few thousand for that extra doodad in the kitchen and all of a sudden you're over budget. A scope of work, but well, what's going to prevent that? Anyways, please don't let this happen to you. I would love to see you comment below and please and like and share this with someone who's about to start or consider doing a house, a house renovation. It could help them save thousands of dollars. So go ahead, don't be shy.